Hey and welcome back everyone, this is Keith once again and today we're taking a look at the VRS feature test in 3 d Mark. So this is the variable rate shading technology. It's not to be confused with multi-res shading which we saw back with Shadow Warrior 2 running on Maxwell based GPUs. That was a pretty cool technology where it took the center of the screen and then adjusted the outlying areas and changed that resolution down to a lower resolution, therefore keeping the center of the screen kind of more in focus and more crisp as the native resolution while the other portion was not. So yeah, so this is variable rate shading and what we've got here, if you look on screen, I've got a little options menu here that way we can make some adjustments while we are looking at the, this test. It's not a full benchmark, it is a test. So you can see we've got frame rate down here at the bottom and we'll we'll back it up and let it kind of go in motion here in a minute. But I want to turn on the visualizer because you can see 2x2 two two shading rate distance and 4x4 four four shading rate distance. Now what you can do with variable rate shading is within a 16x16 16 16 pixel block you can actually run different resolutions. Now the graphics card has to support it or the GPU so the new Ice Lake GPUs, the Gen 11 iGPU from Intel will support it as well as Turing will support variable rate shading and it is part of DX12 so it's a DirectX 12 feature set and well I mean the, like I said the graphics card has to support it in order for it to work so what you're essentially getting and we'll turn on the visualizer here to show you the areas that are rendered in different resolutions. So the red is your primary resolution. The green is, as you see here, a two by two shading rate distance. And you can, the, the distance there can be adjusted, which we're gonna do that in just a moment so you can see how that works. And then four by four shading. So we go from one by one. So the red is one by one, one pixel, pixel to pixel. Uh, the green is two by two. So it's running essentially half. And then the blue is running at a quarter resolution. So instead of having everything all the way to the back super crisp and you're not going to really pay attention to those things you can lower those resolutions and increase the frame rates so what we can do here is turn it off and you can see everything's in red now it doesn't change the frame rate here because it's this really for running on a 2080 I've got it rendering out at 4k so it's going to well it may or may not make a difference but what we're going to do is we're going to back this up and we're going to let it play and we're going to go ahead and turn it on and see if you can see a di difference. Now there's a little bit of artifacting in the very back corners there so it's something to keep in mind and you can see the visualization and let's go ahead and pull it back and let's start making some distant changes. So we're going to let's pull it all the way up and you can see oops, turn the visualizer off you can start to see where it it starts to fade. You can see there things get a little bit more if you follow the tree line you can see it kind of getting a little fuzzier so we want to so if we want to do that and then we bring the 4x4 all the way up you can see how really pixelated it gets so yeah you can really kinda you can't go further like if you do the 2x2 two two back you're gonna move everything back but if you take it here uh, turn the visualizer off you can see how blurry it is uh, let's take this back and you can see it getting more and more crisp as we go back further it appears those artifacts are actually with the <laughs> the scene, not so much the VRS. So it's actually really cool. If we can take it here, uh, turn the visualizer back on, you can see. If you take it up to here, so you want to get really aggressive with it, and turn the visualizer back off, and we'll go through movement. You can actually tell. You can see it's going on there, but you'll probably be focused in-game on more upfront options. So. You can see the very the trees in the very back are a little bit blurrier there. We'll take that back. It's just really cool technology, and I know there's going to be people out there that think this is kind of cheating, if it will. But if it gives you the option to affect things in the background and rather than the entirety of the image, I think it's a pretty cool feature for people trying to get a higher resolution in gaming. Now the game has to support it. It's not just going to work on every game, but it is going to give people with lower end hardware that supports this feature a chance to run at a bit higher resolution than they normally otherwise would. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on something like variable rate shading down in the comment section below. Do you think this is kind of cool technology? Uh, have you messed with it yourself? Or do you really think it's just cheating and it shouldn't even be a thing? Love to hear your thoughts. I think it's really cool technology. Want to hear your feedback. 
This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you and the next one.